and the Colchester Police Department on the lookout this morning for suspects they say use thousands of dollars in counterfeit bills. Local businesses are being urged to keep an eye out for fake bills, but how can you spot one? NBC 5's Adrian Pastor joins us live from Colchester with much more from police. Adrian. Yeah, Zuri, Sarah, Beth, good morning, guys. We spoke to police, and there's actually a number of ways to spot a fake. It includes anything from the writing on the bill, the hologram on those bigger bills, to even the weight of them. Now, Dollar General and Walgreens both filed complaints with police after the counterfeit bills were used last week to purchase gift cards. Businesses in the area spoke to us off camera, and they say they're worried about what feels like an uptick in crime, some of them even using tools to help identify fake bills if and when they come across them. A marker pen, um, which will tell you if a bill is real or fake. Um, they didn't have them in either of these cases. Um, and then just the, the large amount of money people are spending on, on some of these things, these PayPals and stuff like that, can also be a red flag. Now, if you take a look at your screen, Colchester PD released these photos of the suspects. They believe these people used fake 50 and $100 bills, totaling to about $3,000, and this investigation is still ongoing. And while police tell us that these incidents of counterfeit bills are not uncommon, this is by far one of the largest amounts of money passed that they have seen. And they're asking the public that if they have any information on this or the suspects, to please give them a call at the Colchester Police Department. We're live in Colchester this morning. Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.